He has the means, he has the motive, and he could probably plant some of that in this game. Alright, so game number one between Pocket Monsters and Bad Team, Bad You. And that's Locust and Bishly versus Mana and Cantrip. Mana and Cantrip doing the whole villager spiel with the pocket and the aura spheres. Oh! Spiel indeed. Mana had caught uh, both Bishly and Locust there in his aura sphere. A little more damage, probably could have been acquired there from Cantrip, but SDI is a thing. You can get out of that. Now, Villager Lucario. Ooh, the tree pops up and takes out Bishley's first stock. Villager Lucario, yeah. Like I said, our Mata will charge up an Aura Sphere, they'll throw it at Cantrip, and Cantrip will pocket it, and then that's virtually an insta kill. That's the general idea, but how, how do you fight that? What, what do you do against a strategy like that? A lot of times, it's really noticing when Mana will try and go for it, like right there. Even something as simple as just eating that, maybe at 16%, it'll prevent them from now getting an insta-kill in the head. Yeah. It's not an easy strategy to fight against, especially if the two can work together very well and know when they have opportunities to throw at each other. But the big thing is try and go for Lucario more often than not, because if you can stop him from charging it fully, the good up smash from Bishop there, that's going to take uh, Mana's first stock. If you can stop him from charging it fully and keep the presser on him, he can't have the time he needs to charge it up and throw it at Cantrip. Yeah, that's fair. You gotta keep the pressure on Mata there, basically. Ooh, Locust oh, gets a focus punch ouch. on Cantrip there. That ends up taking him out as a result. Yeah, focus punch. Underrated kill move if they're in the air, but it's not an easy one to hit for sure. Ooh, I believe Cantrip still managed to pocket that there. I'm not sure. We'll see. Good backup from Cantrip. One other thing you can do is... Uh, oh, no, he didn't actually manage to pocket it, so... Is the amount of, the amount of time that he's able to hold that aura sphere in his pocket is limited. So if you literally just play like super defensive, it will go eventually. It's hard to know exactly when it is, but it is limited. All right, I did not know that, so good to know. That said, we did see uh, Cantrip throw it out and get a kill onto Locust there. Good jab to show you from Locust though. There goes the second stock off of Mana, so this is still a pretty even game so far. Definitely still could go either way. Bishley. It's Hold. possible. It depends on uh, what Bishley does right now. Depends on what. It depends on who gets hit less. Yeah, good up smash. And there goes. Uh... Yeah, they have a lead. This is definitely a lead. Mm -hmm. The big thing is, Fox has Reflector, right? So he if does. he can read a, he read the Orcs here even from Mata or Cantrip, he can legitimately take it and uh, give it enough uh, power right back to knock him out. Oh my god, if Cantrip, like. Hits with that Aura Sphere like right now, anytime soon. Ooh, good up smash. This set is over. Mm hmm. Especially but if this game not... is over. This game is over. Not the set. It's down. It's down to one stock a piece here. Oh shit! He but it wasn't some... enough. He didn't have enough. Uh... Oh, but shit. he hits the All bowling right. ball though. Well, that... in a, in a way, I was right. Mm hmm. In a way, you were right, but you're not right in the in the exact manner that you. Were... He, he hit it. The game was over. <laughs> Ooh, there's the pocket. And he's gonna throw it. Yep, yeah. there we go. And that's game number one going to Pocket Monsters. Boy, oh boy. Well, Locust and Bishley definitely hold their own there, though. It was doable. Oh man, six kills from Villager. Mm hmm. Villager, the kill monster in this team. Drop the trees on people, throw a spear. I think uh, the discussion going between Bishley and Locust right now is uh, this is the first time seeing Locust as Ryu. So I feel like maybe they're discussing a switch of characters, and maybe I mean, they, it wasn't that bad. That was definitely within the realm of possibility. But we might see like a Sonic or a Falcon. It'll be interesting to see. He looks when, like he's not deciding to change just yet. Yep, looks like he's going to stick with Ryu here. Yeah, when I play against like a team like this, I think my preferred character choice is Falcon because it's just so much easier to uh, to follow the villager, to follow the Lucario, intercept them. Yeah, when you have. Or, you have the speed behind yeah, you, right? Yeah, like you can you can tail them. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, when I played against custom villagers and they're down B, the one that tripped. Yeah. My strategy for that was just like never let them plant it, just always be in their face. Mm. And I chose Falcon for that. Sounds like a good idea. And you know if they do plant it, you can just wait like 20 seconds. Yeah, they're just gonna camp anyway, so just yeah. play it patiently and get through. We are in game number two though between. Uh... Oh, we got we got the next. Mm hmm. Locust definitely knows how to let, uh, launch those lights into heavy into this specials. Is even. I think Bishley here just has to try and uh, keep his pressure on because he's the faster character. 
See, right there, I believe he tried to go for the uh, reflector, but wasn't quite in the right uh, position for it. He did end up blocking Cantrip from getting it, Ouch. and as a result, Guts gets a down smash oh, when he's off the that side. Oh, respawn. Oh, my God. Wow. Gotta watch that bowling ball. Yeah, yeah and there you go. Mata gets... Focus. Yeah, Mata got the grab. Cantrip following up perfectly. That's Ooh. one thing uh, you have to be more mindful in doubles, because it's not a big deal as, as much a big deal in singles. Is that if you get grabbed Ooh. by somebody, that can hurt a lot more in doubles. Does officially it's a good up smash there. It takes Mata's first stock, so she's getting killed. Mm -hmm. Like if she can Pikachu, you never like really expect to like grab her Pikachu to do that much. But then you know we got fourth up smash. Mm -hmm. Just the team combos that are possible between between uh, players of grabs. You never know what's gonna happen sometimes. Yeah. Yo, man, I thought we were teaming. We could, yeah. I thought, but, but like, I mean, uh, focus on that. Locus, yeah, here. get back here on to Mata. Right. Mata at 77%. Locus trying to go for a Anytime, focus dude. punch. He gets it. And there's the jab, true Shoryu. And that's going to take out Mata's second stock. For the first time, they've had a lead. They, well, I guess like a, a, a solid lead. Mm -hmm. They have, they do have a solid lead currently. Officially, ooh, good jab up smash. Or rather, that was a neutral air to running up smash. Now, I feel like individually, the, the character matches, I feel like... Fox does well against Villager, and Ryu probably does well against Lucario. Ooh, or Sphere. Not enough to kill, though. Gets the grab, Ooh. and then the Cantrip. Got him. Unpocket. Takes him out, and Cantrip once again oh has it. God. Oh my goodness, that trade. Cantrip throws and kills Locust, and then Bishley gets the up smash. And we're back to even stocks across the board with a small percentage lead currently for Bad Team, Bad You. So I know it's like Ryu had like a an air combo going, but I think he went for something ambitious. So it's just like maybe shield the escape, get the re-grab, you know, guaranteed. Get your guaranteed damage. And we're looking for it. Fishly. Good air dodge by uh, Mana. If you have a team like this, every, anytime something's guaranteed, you want to take advantage. Ooh, cantrip. All right, they're across the stage. All right, so it's up to Ryu to not let him like hit the pocket. Also, one thing to note is that Lucario does a aura. Ooh, he used the focus punch there and absorbed it. Oh, that was good. Good uses of the focus punch. Takes less oh. damage. Bishley gets the up smash. Not enough to kill just yet. That was a good empty hop up smash. Ooh, he can get that true Shoryu, oh, but he goes he for did. a jab combo instead. I don't think he, I think he meant to do the Shoryu. And he might have, oh, but he just dealt too long. But Bishley does get the up smash on Mana, and now he's down to just Cantrip here. Yeah, it looks like uh, Mana failed to do the... Uh, Lucario, the way his recovery works is normally there's a lot of end lag. However, if you do it parallel, if you do your recovery parallel to the stage itself, your end lag gets reduced in half. Mm -hmm. But he failed to do that. And so he had a tremendous amount of end lag, officially punished with an up smash. Ooh, good forward air. And that's game number two, going to bad team, bad you. Bad Great team, job bad you. getting over the strategy of pocket monsters. Uh, I feel like we're going to see a lilac pick. Because Lilat gives you lots of space, it's kind of janky. I don't think Fox or uh, Ryu really like Lilat. And just that, the, how the platform layout is set out is that both characters can go pretty high up from both ends, and they can pretty much easily send Aura Spheres to, to each other without much interruption. All right, oh. so no character switch, and they choose Duck Hunt oh, as Duck their Hunt. counterpick. Right. Oh That's yeah, they, they've counterpicked this before. You yeah, see definitely. Villager in the tree. And you'll, there's also lots of space to get the, uh, their stuff going. Yeah, definitely. Also, the fact that the stage is always zoomed out lets them completely always see where they are in relation to each other and the stage as well. So, decent counter pick here. Logan's getting a jab forward air on the cantrip. Trying to go for a back air. Nothing there. Ooh, Bishley. Shielding that tree has to be careful. When that tree pops up. It is dangerous. Cantrip was going for the axe onto the tree, but nobody was there to eat it. Bishley uses up smash on his partner and unfortunately takes his stock. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, I guess you got the, the, two, the two trees, you got the, the bushes. Mm -hmm. Makes makes life easier. Doesn't get it that time, though. <laughs> tree popped up. Cantrip popping it down. It does get reflected, but Cantrip did pocket it. Good awareness, but unfortunately he did not. He was not able to drop it onto anybody there. Good back air from Bishley. That's going to take uh, Cantrip's first uh, stock. I thought he was dead, to be honest. No. Well, I think I don't know if he got the Aura Sphere or not. I think I saw a side B and might have intercepted the Aura Sphere. I don't know, though. I'm not sure. 
Oh yeah, okay, now he definitely has one. Mm -hmm. All right, so you... Ooh. Yeah, you don't want to commit like right in front. Yeah, committing right in front, it's, it's, it's asking to be hit by it at that point. It's like, you ask yourself, how do you get hit by an Aura Sphere? You commit to anything that's not shield, or a dodge, or whatever. You commit to a non-defensive option. I'm on 114% right now. Lots that's of aura ready to go. Ooh. Oh man, that could have been a running short. Oh, here. the tree dropped down and drops onto uh, Locust, and Locust down to his last stock. Well, Mana still has his first. Good down smash, and now. This is looking really good for Green Team. Yeah, the counter pick seems to have worked. Locust does get a Atatsu there that ends up taking on his first stock. If I was the red team right now, I would just go after Lucario. You gotta take him out of the picture, and Villager will be a lot more manageable. Ooh, he's. They know, they gotta look inside the trees. Yeah, you don't want those bowling balls falling, those coconuts. Like, I think trying to kill, like trying to kill the villager is like the worst thing you can do because then the pyro is just free to roam, kill the damage. Throw, it's, throw it, get the pocket, good up all smash. Right, you it. know, with the opportunity is there, then you take it, of course. Mm -hmm. But you know, focusing your efforts. Yeah, most fishy was aware there. Oh man, but there you go. Look the here. Look, this is looking bleak. Like really bleak. Fishy is a strong player. I'm sure he could do this. Just has to play it very patiently. Oh, Mata doesn't get the ledge there and eats down smash. And so now it's just one stock well, piece. Man, if, he, if he does this, he's a god. He will be. Makes it back to the stage. All right. Mata gets hit with a neutral air on the way down. Good down air. You gotta be careful here, though. Reflector still is in play. I think Smash Bros. really has longer combos than Street Fighter mean. Officially using the side view to make no? it back to the stage. Good down smash. Ooh, but he gets hit by the Aura Spear on the way out. And Pocket Monsters will take a 2-1 over Bad Team Bad You.